Mel, everybody, I'm Cantonese Cat. Hey, everybody, Cantonese Cat here. I did a GME update, I think, this past weekend. I basically just said that it was going to go sideways for about a week or two. It's going to get pretty boring. It looks like it's getting pretty boring here. It's just basically stuck in a range between this triangle over here. So it's doing a whole lot of nothing, which is what I would expect it to do. Whales have really started to cool off which is not surprising during a period of consolidation. But uh, yeah, it's the volume is declining. Like, oh, this move over here might not mean a whole lot, but it, it's just basically going nowhere. I'm, I'm, I'm not going to talk too much about the daily chart. If you're talking about the weekly chart, it might give you a little bit of a different picture. It might give you an overall view in terms of what it's trying to do. First of all, if you look at the weekly chart, you can see that the whales are still in, even though it's declining a lot more retail coming in at this candle over here. But the whales are still close to about 50%. They only declined down here, you know, stepwise down here a little bit, but they didn't completely go away. The volume over here this month so far has also not been great. And if you also look at the Bollinger Band, I think things just simply got way outside of the Bollinger Band. It's just cooling it off back down inside of the Bollinger Band, right? This is no big deal. The Bollinger Band is still expanding upwards and downwards. The 20 week moving average is still crawling up. You're actually going to have a lot of support underneath below here. For example, you look at a boring support band, you're really talking about support all the way down to like 19. And I don't necessarily think it's going to go that down that low, you know, but you have support down there if you need it. Ichimoku Cloud here on the weekly chart, you're going to find some pretty strong support around like $20 or so. Again, I don't think it's necessarily going to go down that low. You look at the Super Ichi Cloud, which is basically a variant of the Ichi Local Cloud, but you take into account the Super Trend in this calculation. You basically see right at support. It bounces from the top of the Super Ichi Cloud. It also bounced from the Tank in the Kitchen after a bullish cross over here, or the conversion line of baseline over here. It bounced from that. It looks like it's just been basically back testing it for about a couple of weeks or so, right? On declining volume. So this is a very nice back test potentially with you know some bullish continuation that might come afterwards it is forming a little bit of a higher low compared to before right so so far it's losing some momentum you can clearly see that but it could still just be consolidation and there's a ton of support underneath of it it is what i've seen here on a weekly chart on a monthly chart the whales have really kind of cooled down here for the month of june which is unfortunate now the good thing though and this is something that Danny also would say too, a good thing though. For first of all, whales are still 50%, even though it's still on a downtrend. But the retail is really starting to diminish over here. So because of that, I'm still leaning more bullish on the chart. A couple other things too, you know, a lot of things I normally look, let me go back to like Lachmythic chart, which I generally prefer seeing. If you look at the Lachmythic, it's very clearly in terms of what it's been doing. These are all still 41 inside candles, which basically means that it's going to end up continuing its primary trend after the consolidation. What is the primary trend? Well, it was bullish because that's what this big giant um, you know, bull trend over here is signifying is bullish, right? Higher low over here compared to over here. So next, next step is probably going to end up forming a higher high if it's able to break about this consolidation range over here, which I think it will, because throughout the entire thing, even though Wells have been decreasing in terms of momentum, it's still close to about 50%. So overall, I'm still you know leaning more bullish when it comes to GameStop, although this price action here is gonna get a lot of people to doubt what it could do. The 20 month moving average is still underneath as support, again, around 19 bucks or so. I would not be like really scared if it has to come back and back test 2019 somewhere around here before going higher although i do think that 25 and 24 like any really anywhere underneath the weekly chimoku cloud so underneath the uh, upper village band is probably going to be a pretty decent buy zone although i can see it potentially going down a lot you know a lot lower before bouncing but there's no guarantee that that's going to happen the ichimoku cloud i'm not going to show you too much right now it's just basically somewhere in the middle right you're going to see some resistance around 38 bucks. You're going to see some resistance around 50. You're going to see some resistance around 61. These are some resistance above. And so far, we did have a bullish cross, but so far, these lines over here, the kitchen and taken the conversion and baseline here are still going to serve as resistance. And um, same thing with Super Ichi. You know, you got, again, 
resistance zone around 50 bucks resistance zone around 36 right and uh, right now you really don't have a whole lot of support right up in space here on Sapichi until maybe all the way down to like maybe 18 19 20 yeah so pretty confluence support down below that would be your downside I'm not sure if it's gonna end up going down there but if it does, there be your downside, and that might potentially be a good zone to consider buying if it ends up going there. There's a potential we might end up getting support and just kind of range sideways over here for about another week or so before you know further bigger moves might happen. It might not happen until July comes around as well. Okay. So, so far, that's kind of what I'm seeing here with GameStop. Again, if you look at the EMA ribbon, is also finding support potentially around 20, right? On the monthly chart here and also on the weekly chart, you also see that the ribbon, the EMA ribbon is turning green and it's around like 18 or 19 bucks. So that could potentially be a pretty confluent support zone down here too. So yeah, something to keep in mind, it's a little bit boring. I was asked to kind of give a quick update on GameStop. So here it is. I really don't have a whole heck of a lot more to say about it. Um, but uh, yeah, uh, I, I might come back to it next week and tell you, hey, maybe price also again didn't move much just like I expected. Um, but that would be a little bit of a clickbait, wouldn't it? So maybe I won't do that. Anyway, thank you so much for listening. Have a good one. Bye.